Hey, hello everybody, Vern Glenn alongside Coach Barad is another edition of the In the Deep End show and a recap of All-Stars. And hey man, what is it about your relay teams? We have a group of kids here who, you know, they, they don't just swim for themselves, but they swim for each other, um, which is, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Um, you know, there's the, the best thing about those relays, you know, if you're coach, you're sitting there and we're getting the splits. And we had quite a few relays where every single kid on the relay swam faster than their fastest time, um, you know, and, and helped us get best times on the relays. But it was, you know, everybody pitching in. But yeah, the kids swam well yesterday, you know, and it, it was great because we didn't really hype all stars up much. Mm -hmm. You know, the kids came and they got fired up on their own. Absolutely. So. Did you now? Were there any surprises that you saw at Indian Valley? Uh, you know, I, I, I there was quite a few. Um, Zach, in particular, his butterfly was fantastic. That was uh, that was really fun for me to see him break uh, our, our team record for thirteen fourteens. Um, especially since you know I know and I coached the kid whose record he broke. So <laughs> you know it, it was fun seeing it go, and it, it was. Uh, you know, Zach couldn't be a more worthy, a more worthy guy for those records. But we had kids right and left dropping three, four seconds um, at the All Star meet, and there I am. It was just spectacular. So, I was particularly proud of you know, along with the relays with our I am swims. And we mentioned it in last week's show because it was at IVC, which is the site of the Champs, yeah. which is really what they're building for. They're able to kind of see it and then match themselves up against. These stiffer competition. These are these are men and and, and women that uh, that they're going to be just boom head to head with in just a matter of a few weeks. Yeah. Well, I, it's uh, it's great too because you get to see how the kids swim in that environment because it's really different from a dual meet mm -hmm. where you know it's uh, even odds, two teams. Um, here you don't know who's going to be in the field. It could be five kids from one team, one you know, kid from each other team. Uh, and the big pool environment also throws some kids off. I was really happy to see that our, our kids didn't really flinch. You know, they, they seem very comfortable in that environment. And a lot of them, like uh, for example, uh, Nikki Scruton, uh, I thought he swam better at that pool than I've seen him swim anywhere. And usually for eight and under, that's, that's where you get the most unpredictable outcomes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, All-Stars and Championships, you never know what's going to happen with A and under. Right, so right. when you see a kid step up and actually have his best performance under those circumstances, it, it really signals a bright future for the kid as well because there's just a little more pressure there. Another thing I like is the fact that the, the whole you know, game recognizing game. Like the, the players know who yeah. the players are. So so maybe a little soul shake at the end of a race, like, hey man, hey, good race. That was, that was, I thought that was really cool to see. Yeah, at any absolutely. It's, you know, I, I think it was a very healthy meet. There was a, a lot of positive uh, interaction, sportsmanship. I didn't see a lot of kids, um, you know, freaking out if they lost a race. They just kind of moved on, so. And speaking of moving on, we're now moving on to our final dual meet of the year, a road meet against the tidal waves. So as a coach, how do you have these kids kind of come down from their performance over the weekend at All-Stars and then get back into attack mode? So for Tidal Waves, our focus is going to be, you know, trying anything that you haven't yet implemented in a race that you're going to try this year. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want them putting new things in at, at uh, championships. You know, once we get to champs, they want to go with what they've learned, um, but not necessarily be adding new things right before that mm -hmm. meet. Um, so Tidal Waves is their last chance really to try anything new, technically speaking, mm -hmm. in their races. If they want to change their approach, their pacing, a turn, um, you know, any technical element on the actual strokes, this is their last chance to give that a go. And so I want the kids to take some risks and try some of the things that they may have been maybe apprehensive about implementing. Um, so they can get comfortable with those concepts before we actually go into the champs meet. Okay, so in other words, refine, refine, refine yeah. as we head to the finish of the regular season. It's our dress rehearsal, basically. You got it. All right. Hey, that's been another edition of the End of the Deep End 
show with Coach Murad alongside. I'm Vern Glenn. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing, as we always like to say, and we will see you at the pool.